Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and since there will not be a new review this weekend, I wanted to throw up a short video because I'm really excited about a figure I recently acquired. This is Night Force Outback from 1988, and it's a figure that I've been looking for for a very long time. I'm very excited to have my first Night Force figure, but these Night Force figures tend to run pretty expensive, so it took a long time for me to find this figure at a price that I thought was reasonable. Night Force Outback, of course, is the second version of Outback, originally released in 1987, but Outback from 1987 had that white t-shirt that wasn't very well camouflaged. Night Force Outback fixes that with an all olive drab uniform. Now you do lose a little bit in translation, you don't have the camouflage pattern, but I think the overall green look makes up for that. This is such a gorgeous figure, and the black accessories look great. I really see this figure as Outback ready for for combat, as the original Outback looked more like he was in a training mode. It is not a perfect figure. As you can see, his sleeves are a different color green from his chest, and that just looks kind of odd. I think that was a poor choice, but it's hard to complain about that when the overall look of the figure is so fantastic. I've only just started collecting Night Force. It's possible, as I get more of them, that Night Force could become my favorite G.I. Joe sub-team. In fact, I was so jazzed about getting this this Night Force figure that I couldn't help myself, I had to get another one. That was a quick look at the 1988 Night Force Outback. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back next weekend with a full G.I. Joe toy review. I hope to see you then.